Hello everyone, today we create a phishing simulation using Microsoft services. Open security.microsoft.com. Under email and collaboration, select attack simulation training. Go to the tab simulations. Here we can see all created simulations. Click on launch a simulation set up your phishing simulation campaign. First of all, we have to choose which type of social engineering technique we want to use in this simulation. In our example, we want to harvest the user's credentials with a URL in the message. When the target clicks on the URL within the message, they are taken to a fake login website. Then we can enter a name for our simulation. At this point we have to select payload and login page. We have a bunch of payload templates. Double click to get more information about the payload. We can preview the mail and the login page of the user clicks on the link. We are choosing this payload and click on next. Now we have to define the targets. We want to include all users in the organization. Now we have the option to exclude some users. Here we can assign users a training when they got fished. Now choose a landing page for fished users. With double click we can see the preview of the mail. Add an image of your company logo here. Then we can choose how to notify users. We use the recommended settings here. Now we can edit the launch details. We want to launch immediately after creating the simulation and keep the simulation online for two days 
In a business environment, it makes sense to keep the simulation online for 7 to 10 days. We will receive a summary of our selected settings. Click Submit to run the simulation. Now let us check if we have received an email. Yes, the mail is here. Now we will see what happens when we click on the link. Oh, it looks like a Microsoft login page. But the link is suspicious. However, we act like a badly trained employee and enter our credentials here. And here the user gets the information about our phishing test. Back in the Defender portal, under Simulations, we double click on our active simulation. Here we have access to the simulation statistics. And that's it. A step-by-step -step guide to creating a phishing simulation using Microsoft services. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give a thumbs up. If you subscribe to our channel, I would be very happy and grateful. Bye!